Hello, today we are going to learn how to rotate any shape such as our example today, an irregular hexagon given the rotation center O and the rotation angle alpha and also the direction of the rotation which is going to be clockwise as indicated here by the arrow. So the first step is to join points A and O. So now from this line segment we are going to transport the angle alpha. To do this, setting the compass on the vertex of the angle alpha and setting it to any random radius, we are going to scribe one arc, which is going to intersect the sides of the angle at two points. To continue with the same radius and setting the compass on the point O, we are going to draw a large arc as shown. We name the points on the angle alpha, alpha 1 and alpha 2 and the new point we have obtained with the large arc A1 as shown here. So now setting the compass on alpha 1 and with a radius alpha 1, alpha 2, we are going to transport this onto the large arc from point A1. So setting the compass on point A1 and scribing an arc to the right, we obtain a new point, which we will call A2. So the next step is to join the center point O to A2 and elongate the line as shown here. And the next step, we set the compass on the center point O and with a radius OA, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the previously drawn elongated line at a new point, which we will call A prime. And A prime is the rotation point of the point A. So to continue, we have to repeat the same process with all the vertices of the shape. So now we join points B and O, obtaining B1. The next step, we are going to transport the length alpha 1, alpha 2 onto the large arc from point B1. So setting the compass on point B1 and scribing an arc to the right, we obtain B2. So the next step is to join the center point O to the new point B2 and elongate the line as shown here. The next step, we set the compass on the center point O and with a radius OB, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the previously drawn elongated line at a new point which we will call B prime. B prime is the rotation point of point B. And now we are going to repeat this process with all the vertices. So joining uh, O to C and setting the compass to the length alpha 1, alpha 2 and setting the compass on C, we scribe an arc to the right, obtaining point C2. And now joining O to C2 and elongating it a little bit shorter this time. And with the compass set on O, C, we scribe an arc to get point C prime. And we're going to speed up the video and continue this exact same process with all of the remaining vertices. So we're going to obtain a new point D prime, which is the rotation point of our vertices D. We're going to do the same process with vertex E, obtaining its rotation equivalent which will be E prime as can be seen here and now finally we're going to rotate our vertex F obtaining our new rotation point F prime So now that we have obtained all our rotation points, 
the last step is with a thicker line is to join a prime to b prime b prime to c prime c prime to d prime d prime to e prime e prime to f prime and finally f prime back to y prime to complete our irregular hexagon which we have rotated clockwise with the given angle and the given rotation point O as shown here. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by pressing the super thanks button. So until the next video, thank you very much. Bye bye.